Hi guys. Hope everyone's having a great day. It's May 13th. Um, a few videos ago, I talked to you and told you I was getting my real estate license. So today I am writing my last, well, my fourth video, my fourth exam. Um, so then I can start selling residential. Yes. Um, but because of COVID, we have to do it at home. So we're doing it at virtual proctoring, which is doing it from your home as opposed to going to the colleges. I thought I'd like include you in this um, and let you know a little bit of the process. So um, we had to do like a pre-COVID, uh, a pre-test prior to our scheduled exam date to make sure that you had nothing uh, where you'd be writing. So I had to kind of do a scan of our room. So if you take a look, literally it's just, just your desk. You're allowed one clear bottle. Um, I don't even know if that's actually good. I had to ask, but it is clear. Um, you have just a plain calculator, but they, I guess they're going to have one in the system and you need your driver's license. Uh, and that's basically all you can have. Like you can't have anything underneath. So you have to have everything cleared out. I just called the help desk just to make sure I was on the right track before my exam starts in like literally four minutes. So I just wanted to give you a quick um, update uh, so you know what to expect when you're writing yours. So when you log into your ProtoTrack, ProtoTrack, you're going to see this. Um, and this would have been done like your previous. You would have gotten, you had to get this all set up but prior to. Um, and then this says here confirmed. So you're going to click on that and right at whatever time it says proctoring date time for me, May 13th at one o'clock. This go to test will start right. It won't be active until one o'clock. You click on it and then apparently it's going to walk me through the protest. I have to rescan the room and I'm going to have to um, provide like scan my driver's license. So don't forget your driver's license. You need to bring that back in. Uh, and then the individual or the instructor or facilitator, whoever it is that's on there, is going to kind of guide me on what I'm supposed to do with my phone. Um, so that way it's going to be sitting like two or three feet away from me, keeping an eye on me. Uh, so just wanted to tune in and show you that little process before we get started. So I'm off to write my exam in two minutes. Ciao for now. Bye. Wow. That was hard. It was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I also don't know how I did. Um, also my computer was going to die and it was fully charged and needed to charge was really good. So the last one, and I wasn't allowed to leave my station. So like the last 20 questions I literally had to rush. So don't forget your charger because mine has a long battery, but it killed it. So that part sucks. There's a lot of questions about farming in mine. At least I had two math questions. Um, the RU factor, a lot of, yeah, more farming than I thought and condo, condo questions. So those would probably be the two that I would, based on my experience, I'm not feeling confident guys. <laughs> not feeling confident at all. So anyhow, it's done. It took me, it, the screen did freeze like twice. It just did that little circly thing, but overall it was pretty streamlined. It was fine. Um, and it took me just over two hours to rate it. So I'm mentally drained now. I'm going to go and take a little snoozy and I'll be back to see and tell you how I did. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I was just written my exam number four and it was stressful, but I'm so excited to tell you that I passed. Um, so I got an 87, but I honestly wasn't really sure at all how I did. So I thought with this part of the my video, I'd just tell you a little bit of my experience with Humber College and my real estate license with the course content. So um, all the four courses were, as you guys know, online. Um, it is, if you'll hear from everybody, it's very repetitious. So you'll see a lot of repeated information. Um, some people think it, it's negative. I, you know, it does get repetitive, but I also found it, it was supporting me and helping me trying to retain that information. So uh, it was good to get the refreshers. Um, course number two had a lot of content and a lot that I found wasn't really on the exam. So you, I was studying like all the formulas, um, rooftops, every kind of window, all the doors. I, I like had learned it all and none of that was on there. So be mindful of course number two. 
Um, course number four with the commercial. My exam had, as I think I mentioned the last time, there was a lot of farming and commercial condo questions. Not a whole lot of formulas. Again, I had two math questions and pretty standard basic ones. Um, I did notice that with all four exams, so my second exam, I was pretty confident I did fairly well on that one. I actually did worse than I thought with that one coincidentally. And the other three, so exam one, three, and four, I left there not knowing at all if I had passed. Um, completely confused. My average for all of them was about 85 for all of them, but never was confident in the outcomes of those ones. So the questions are tricky. You have to read them. Every single question I read two, three, sometimes four times before I really was confident in my answer. And even then, sometimes I was scratching my head. So be very mindful. Read those questions carefully. Take your time, don't rush, and bookmark whatever ones you're second guessing. Um, the simulation, so simulation two has been delayed till I'm not sure when for commercial, but for the simulation for residential, I had done prior to the COVID, so that was, I was fortunate that way. Um, I personally loved it and I, I had a lot of value in it. I got a lot of value from the program. Uh, I learned from other peers. I liked the role playing to hear other people's conversations, what worked for them. Um, and kind of taking some of the best out of everybody and collaborating too. Our two facilitators were amazing, um, so that definitely helped as well. So I really enjoyed the simulation. Um, hopefully you guys like as much as I do. And I think that's pretty much it. Overall, I'm very happy with what I've learned from Humber. The process was great. The virtual proctoring it went fine with me. I've heard some pretty crazy horror stories, but it was streamlined if I had any questions. Um, Humber and Proctor Track, which is a virtual pro proctoring program, were both supportive. So if you have any questions, I mean, reach out to Humber or Proctor Track. They are really good at helping and walking through any questions or processes or anything that you're having questions with. So um, that would be my takeaways and everything. I've overall loved it and I'm so excited to get started. Um, I'm now, yeah, I'm just eager and excited. So good luck to everybody else um, and your future successes. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. Thanks so much. Good luck to everybody. Bye-bye.